This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research for world-class benchmarking looking at the company DMCI Holdings in the Philippines. First, let's get some background on this company. DMCI Holdings Incorporated is a major Philippines-based conglomerate. It owns the largest coal mine in the country. In the past, its core business was construction, but power, mining, property development, and domestic infrastructure projects have recently become its main profit sources. If we look at this company, the ticker code is DCM, and it's about a $3 billion market cap company with $2 million in average daily turnover. The beta of the company is 0.8, the sector is industrials, and the industry is capital goods. If we go into a little bit more detail, we'll see that DMC has six major business segments, including the mining of coal and nickel and property sector. Although originally a construction group, construction now accounts for a mere 4% of net profits and is the smallest division. DMC owns 56% of Samir Rara Mining and Power Company, SCC, which accounts for more than half of DMC's net income. My God, that is the big contributor. So power generation revenues come from both its ownership in SCC and its fully owned subsidiary, DMCI Power. The mining division is engaged in the exploration and mining of coal resources in the Philippines and the mining of nickel ore and the sales of material from DMC's existing domestic stockpiles. Next is property development, which is focused on mid-income residential condos under the brand name DMCI Homes. Its water segment runs the largest private concession in the country, while the construction division is a general contractor. Its power generation company designs, constructs, and invests in and operates electric power plants. So let's review the business revenue breakdown or net income in this case by business segment. 37% from power, 23% from mining. So we can see half of the business is right there. 22% from property. And now we've got 75 or so percent of the revenue and water is 14% and construction is four. So it is clearly a conglomerate. Well, let's see how this conglomerate does on world-class benchmarking. First, we start off and we can see that the chairman, Mr. David Khan Sunji, has been chairman since March, 1995 and Asidro Kansuji is the president and he's been president since 1995 also and he's also been the chairman. So both chairman and president since 2004. So now if we look at the record of Mr. Asidro, what we can see is profitable growth has been stable at number two since 2014. That's a very good performance. DMC ranks among the best 280 large industrial companies globally. And if we look at the source of that profitable growth, we can see that profitability fell back to a strong number two. So it was, it's been either one or two for the last five years. And growth remained above average at a number four. If we want to understand the source of the profitability, we can see that actually asset utilization is the worst. It's a ranked at a number 10, but profit margin is best ranked at number one. So if you wanted to improve the profitability of this company, the focus would be on better asset utilization. Now that's always tough for a, uh, a conglomerate and also tough for an energy company, but that is where the focus could be. Now, margin change worsened in the past 12 months. It's now, it went to number four ranking relative to global peers. Sales growth has been number six. So overall, a fantastic performance with DMC. Congratulations. Well, do you want to see the profitable growth rank for a company in your portfolio? Just leave a comment below with company name and a country of listing and I'll post it if I have it.